So let me explain about how this all came about. My wife offered to take me out to dinner. That's a little unusual. Typically, I'm the one telling her, let me take you out to dinner. She offers to take me out to dinner, which just typically means she doesn't want to drive. No big deal. I can drive. So we jump in the car. We take off. Where are we going? Well, we got to make a stop first. All right. Of course. Where are we stopping? Hobby Lobby. Now, Hobby Lobby in my area has been open a couple of years now, and I've only been in the building one time. I took a brief walk around, and there wasn't much there for me, at least at the moment. But this time, we walk into the Hobby Lobby, and she's walking up and down the aisles, and what do I see? 3D printing filament? That blows my mind. And then it reminded me, not too long ago, I had saw a couple videos on YouTube, but they're always shorts, like, Hobby Lobby has filament. Well, I need to know more than that. So I decided to go ahead and pick up some filament just to try it out. And I've picked up filaments that I never, ever use. So marble PLA, never printed with it before. Wood PLA, definitely have not printed with that before. And the silk rainbow PLA, forget about it. These are not, my favorite color is black. P-E-T-G to be exact. So I wanted to check out these PLAs to see if they're actually any good. It's Hobby Lobby. I guess we're going to find out. This is the marble PLA. Now I printed it out uh, a nice little, you know, collapsible knife that I found on Maker World. Pretty cool. But you can see it printed out. I mean, just amazing. Now, I use the bamboo marble setting in my X1C to print this out. And I've got to tell you, it printed out perfect. Geometry was good. I didn't have any issues as far as assembly or anything. Like, everything just came out perfect. I really, really like the way that turned out. So, this is the marble PLA. You can see it's a little more white and it's got some gray flex in it. And, uh, you know... That's the only option for marble they have, unfortunately. We'll take a look at the wood. This is the wood PLA. I also printed it out on my X1C. Now you can see kind of out of the box, it is, uh, I guess it's uh, brown, you know, but it doesn't give me wood vibes. It did smell of wood just slightly when I was printing it, but uh, there's no variation. You know what I mean? Like it's just... A solid color. It, it could be matte, just matte brown for all I know. Um, now, interestingly enough, I decided after I printed this, I wonder if I could influence this print like I could wood. So, one of the techniques some people use in the case of this like bully head thing that I created here is that you can put coffee on wood and it will stain it. So, I decided to try it on this. And to some degree, it worked. For the most part but as you can see again it printed amazing just like the marble the wood printed amazing and again i use the same settings the bamboo wood setting in uh my x1c now obviously things have gone way too smooth way too easily and i need to try something that's well more than likely to screw up so i decided what we do is we print a couple of the silk rainbow PLAs on my AnyCubic Cobra 3 Max. If anything was liable to go wrong, that, that combination of silk, rainbow, and the AnyCubic Cobra 3 Max is probably going to have something go sideways. And to my surprise, everything came off perfect. So here we have two French Bulldog models that I printed. I think they're about eight, eight inches tall or so. Um, they took a little over 30 hours to print these Bulldogs, uh, French Bulldogs. And the reason being is they have a fuzzy skin on them. Hopefully that's focusing. Yeah, they have a fuzzy skin all the way around. And as you can see, they just printed perfectly. 
The Cobra 3 Max continues to surprise me on how good it is. So fuzzy skinned two of them at the same time, took about 30 hours, and that makes sense. The infill was about 15%, so I wanted them to be really, really solid. You know, I figured they were going to get snatched by the grandkids immediately. So I, right now, actually, they are currently waiting to take them. I said, no, you can't have them until I do the video. So, uh, yeah, they're waiting for this video to be completed so they can get their French Bulldogs. But this is the Silk Rainbow PLA, and it looks amazing. So let's talk a little bit about price. The marble PLA that we have here, which you can see I didn't use very much of because I think I have some plans for this. I printed that one thing and it came out so good. I'm like, ah, yes, I'm going to save this. So the marble PLA comes in at $19.99. The wood PLA comes in at $15.99. And the PLA Silk Rainbow, how they have it listed on their box, is $19.99. So I think, you know, obviously you can find that cheaper online than what you're going to pay in Hobby Lobby. And I guess you're paying a bit of a premium because, well, you can have it right now versus having to wait several days for it to show up. That's if you're in a small town and you can't get the same day Amazon deal or whatever. So... There, I see a lot of value in it, for sure. So let's talk about the spool a little bit. Now, it does have markers for how much filament is left on the roll, which I really like. Also, it, like every other spool, it has holes where you can tuck your filament in for storage. Other than that, there's a sticker on it. There is no indication of what it is or who makes it, even though I'll put some information on the screen and find out what I found out about who poss possibly makes it, given they advertise it on their website. Uh, but well, we'll notice that this part of the spool is actually back a little bit compared to this section. Now, in the AMS, that makes no difference whatsoever. And in the Infinity Flow S1, it doesn't make any difference either. But the hanger on my AnyCubic Curver 3 Max, it, it I don't know, the whole time it was on that... that uh, hanger that was hanging, the, the spool was like sideways or something. I'm not really sure why. I don't know if because that's recessed a little bit compared to the rest of the spool or what. It didn't have a problem flowing and like it didn't have a problem feeding or anything. I just noticed that it was kind of looked weird. Like it was kind of cockeyed on that thing. Now, as far as this diameter goes, I haven't measured it. I don't know how well it would necessarily fit on like a AMS light. But as far as the AMS, the Infinity Flow, and the just the normal spool holder, uh, it didn't present any issues at all. Now, might they expand in the future? Well, I guess if these materials get super popular, then they may expand colors. You never know. They may even expand materials. P-E-T-G, hint, hint. We'll have to see. But so far... If you need wood PLA, marble PLA, or rainbow silk PLA, I can tell you that these are good options. So in conclusion, would I buy this filament? I probably would make it my primary, to be completely honest. Reason being, the price is a little high. But I can always get those cheaper online. But if I'm completely out of a color and I really need it today, it's really good to know that it's available to me if I need it. Now, the problem is some of the colors I didn't get, but I have seen before, is like the red, which is quite a bit more red than most of the reds that I've seen. And a couple of those colors might not necessarily match up to the color you use on a normal basis. So that's something you have to keep in mind. You have to grab a spool, print it out, and see if it'll work for you. But overall, it prints really nice. I have no complaints in that department. I was actually shocked at how well it printed. And in every situation that I put it in, it actually performed pretty well. Well, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, give it a share. I'd appreciate it. Until next time. Later. Come look, what do you think of my Frenchie? Huh? What do you think of my Frenchie? You like my Frenchie?